Chapter 2 Science as Applied to Piano Tuning The Timbre, Harmonics The middle A string vibrating at 440 vibrations per second is about 42 cm long. If we were to cut the string into two equal parts of 21 cm, each of these two parts would vibrate at 880 Hz, that is, one octave higher. In the same way, if we were to cut the same string into three equal parts, we would have three strings vibrating each at one octave plus a fifth higher than our original a string, which is to say, on the E note. No matter the musical sound, apart from the tuning fork, what you actually hear is in reality, a multitude of sounds. Let's take our piano string example. Even if we perceive the note as being the hey at 440 Hz, commonly called A440, we actually hear many more notes than just that. Why? Because the string does not vibrate only along its full length. It also vibrates in its different sections. Indeed, it vibrates in many different divisions of its length, notably in its two halves, its three thirds, its four quarters, etc. These are called harmonics and each of those harmonics represents a partial of the sound, also called an overtone. The hey at 440 Hz, for example, is heard because the string vibrates along its whole length, but we also hear the hey at 880 Hz, one octave higher, which is called the first harmonic or second partial. The string is also vibrating in three equal parts, giving us the octave plus a fifth higher. The second harmonic, or third partial. The four quarters of the same string give us the hey at 1760 Hz. 440 Hz multiplied by 4 equals 1760 Hz, which is two octaves higher. And so on for nearly 16 overtones. The harmonics implications in piano tuning. It is important for all piano tuners to understand and master the theory of harmonics since we use those harmonics to tune pianos. No matter the interval being tuned, the first thing to do is to find the first common overtone of the two notes you are tuning. Once found, it is at that frequency that you will evaluate the speed of the beating rate. Let me repeat this because it is very important. No matter the interval being tuned, the first thing to do is to find the first common overtone of the two notes you are tuning. Once found, it is at that frequency that you will evaluate the speed of the beating rate. Why? Because the sound produced by a piano string is very complex and contains numerous fluctuations of intensity, timbre, harmonics, and beats all at the same time and at different frequencies. You are going to hear beats at different speeds and at many frequencies simultaneously, hence the importance of working with the right partials beats, that is to say with the right frequency. This section is very important and you must master this concept. Thus, I invite you to come back here often to refresh your memory with this important content. Let's tune an octave from C to C. The low C and its harmonics are in yellow. The high C and its harmonics are in blue. When we overlap them, common harmonics become green. The first harmonic of the low C is its octave above, which corresponds to the fundamental of the high C that we want to tune to the octave. It is therefore the beats of the high C that we will eliminate in order to obtain a perfect active. A word about octaves and unisons tuning. 
it will be less important to take the harmonics into consideration when you tune the octaves and the unisons. Just concentrate on the elimination of the beats and you will be on the right track. Also remember that your ear will be most sensitive only after the first three seconds you played the note or the interval. In other words, it is in the sustained part of the sound that your ears will be most sensitive to changes in the sound's timbre or color. Now let's tune a fifth from C to G. The low C and its harmonics are in yellow, the G a fifth higher and its harmonics are in blue. When we overlap them, their common harmonics become green. The first harmonic of the G is its octave, so we clearly see that we must take the third partial of the C as the common harmonic. We will thus evaluate the speed of the beats with the G one octave higher than the lower G that we want to tune. C3 to G3 equals 3 beats every 5 seconds. First, start by tuning the 5th C3 to G3 without any beats and then, narrow it to 3 beats for every 5 seconds or so. Tune it perfect, then, narrow it until you hear 3 beats per 5 seconds. <laughs>